First, we're going to right click on our Windows icon so we can launch settings application. And to go to settings, we go to display here. And in the display, we can go down to advanced display settings. And here we can see our laptop display right here. Display adapter properties for display. And inside here, we can check some different settings here, like the monitor. We go to monitor, and here we can select different refresh rates. Make sure that this is the maximum you actually have on your system, and the maximum I have is 60 Hz. So that's what I have. While we're already here, we can go to backgrounds app as well. Make sure this is turned off so that you won't have any background apps in the background when you are playing games which will drag you down. Right, so to start the media control panel, you'll just right click on your desktop and click the media control panel. You'll first go to adjust image settings with preview. What you will do is use my preference. Drag this to performance to get the maximum performance. And then we can click apply. Right, so we now go to manage 3D settings. And we want to select the preferred graphics processor to high performance NVIDIA processor. If you would have any problems with using some applications with high performance NVIDIA processor, you'll need to go to program settings and, uh, you know, select something different for those programs. One example that I have experienced is OBS. So if you have OBS and it won't work with NVIDIA right now, just uh, uh, change this to integrated graphics um, for the OBS. So you just search it up there. But uh, let's continue with the global settings. So uh, ambient occlusion, it can look pretty cool, but it can also give you some problems um, if you have it on here. Uh, because this, uh, when you change settings on NVIDIA control panel global settings, you basically force it on everything you do and every game you play. And uh, if you have ambient occlusion turned on here, uh, it might cause issues with in-game setting of ambient occlusion. Right, so then we can have uh, antiscropic filtering. This can be turned on here. Uh, some games won't have antiscropic filtering enabled in them, but it can make them look better like older games. So you can set this to 16 and it will force 16x on all games and it won't cause very much performance drop, but it will make the games look better. And uh, you can just put it to 16 and then you can put it to 0. In uh, You can turn it off in every game since you have it turned on here. That's kind of the catch. So... Um, Go with application control if you don't want to change the game settings, but if you might as well change the game settings, turn it to 16 and turn it off in uh, all the games you play. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Anti-aliasing FXAA, we turn it, we keep it off. It's nothing we need. Uh, Anti-aliasing mood we will select it to application control uh, since it will indeed uh, be better if your uh, games uh, select this setting. It lets you choose different moods in game and uh, that can increase the performance instead and if you turn it off completely uh, you might get some pretty jagged edges. All right, anti-aliasing transparency um, we should keep this off, otherwise we can have some uh, problems with uh, how the games look. And it also doesn't really do anything well for graphics. Uh, background application max frame rate off. Uh, CUDA GPUs. And well, if you've got a lot of them, that's fantastic. Just keep it on all. Low latency mood. Now, a lot of people say you should keep low latency mood on or something, but uh, you should keep it on off because low latency mood can unfortunately cause more problems for you. Uh, it is very common that low latency mood uh, makes it so that your game stutters um, and you can actually on some games increase input lag if you keep it uh, 
turned on. Max frame rate, keep it on off. OpenGL render and GPU. On this one, you will of course select uh, your proper GPU, which is your NVIDIA one. And if you have several one, choose the best one. I don't think you have that on a laptop, but if you do. Um, optimize for compute performance. This should be off unless you are trying to run a crypto mine. Um, power management mood. Now, a lot of people are uh, setting this to prefer maximum performance. That's not very good. NVIDIA driver control. Prefer con no, uh, just keep it on optimal power. In fact, if you put this on adaptive, uh, adaptive is the worst setting. It will make it so uh, that it will make your graphics card slower when it's um, having a little bit hard time when you put a lot of um, strain on your GPU. It will limit the clock speed. So adaptive isn't something you want. Um, then we have prefer maximum performance. And well, what this will do is actually just to make your laptop draw a lot of power uh, all the time. It will keep the graphics card on the highest power possible, but it won't actually give you better FPS than optimal power. Optimal power lets the GPU have the power it needs when it needs it. But if you if you have this on uh, prefer maximum performance, it will only cause it to use more power and it won't cause it like all the time uh, and it won't cause more FPS. Uh, so if you have this on maximum performance, you probably notice that your laptop will be a lot hotter than it should be. And if you don't believe it will be the same performance, uh, Google it up or try and run a benchmark with these uh, settings turned on optimal power or maximum performance, and you'll see there is no real difference. Shader cage. Um, this is a nice setting. It's on, I guess. It should always be on. If it's not on, turn it on. Um, here we have texture filtering. We can keep this uh, off since it... Uh, only affects some um, DirectX programs and games anyways and uh, well it doesn't really make it um, look much better either. Negative load bias, that's some strange thing. Uh, keep it on clamp. Now we go to texture filtering uh, and I've seen that High performance is actually not the best setting for this. Keep this on quality um, or performance. Actually, performance and quality should have about the same. Um, they should look about the same. It's a very small visible difference. And the performance gain is also very small. Uh, but set this to performance or quality. It doesn't matter too much, but... Um, there is no real visible or performance difference. Um, quality looks a little better and performance performs a little better, but it's very small. Uh, texture filtering, linear optimization. We should turn this uh, on. It only affects some programs, but it's um, not especially heavy for your system. All right, and then we have uh, threaded optimization turn this to auto because some programs that don't have threaded optimization, which is of course very nice when the programs and games have it, if they don't have it and you turn it, force it on, it might cause problems. So just have it on auto. Triple buffering, we keep this on off and um, it's only for uh, OpenGL anyways. So we won't really you know, need that. Uh, vertical sync, keep this on off. Uh, but uh, in some cases, uh, you might experience screen tearing. And if you turn this on on, this will completely remove all problems with screen tearing, but you will get uh, a pretty big performance hit. 
So uh, if you have problems, if you don't have problems with screen tearing with this turned off, just keep it turned off. But if you have screen tearing, uh, then you can set it to use the 3D um, application setting. Uh, so this will basically make it able to uh, turn it off or on uh, where you try to use it. But I don't have screen tearing issues on uh, this computer and that's probably because it's uh, G-Synced. <laughs> uh, but if you don't have G-Sync or uh, FreeSync, you might you know, have this on uh, application control. Virtual reality uh, is nothing I use, so uh, I don't really know about that setting. Uh, but anyways, I hope that this little thing helped, and we can just click Apply. Now, physics configuration configuration, uh, it's auto-selected, force this to NVIDIA, um, and just click Apply. Now, there is a tiny little other setting I want to show you, which has caused a lot of uh, confusion for people, sadly. Right-click on the battery icon on your laptop and just uh, click Power Options. If you want to have, like I have a custom plan uh, just to play around a little bit with advanced settings in here to kind of turn off my hard drives as quickly as possible uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but if you don't really do this, just, you know, go and select balanced power plan. There are some people that are using some kind of high performance power plan or some um, ultra performance uh, power plan. And the thing is, for laptop, the balanced power plan uh, is like the uh, optimized power setting in NVIDIA control panel. Uh, it uses as much power as you need. It won't clamp it. Like we can actually go in here and just uh, look at advanced power settings. Um, like processor management, maximum processor state. Uh, it's still 100 here. It won't clamp it. Um, not, on, not on this computer or most computers at least. So there is no need to uh, to use high performance mood because what it does is just that it draws more power all the time with no reason, uh, while the balanced power plan is as it as it promises. It's balanced and uh, it will give you the the energy to all your computing um, needs when you need it. Well, thanks for watching to the end of the video and uh, hope it helped you. If it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for future solution videos and uh, tech help. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.